Today we're going to be taking a look at the Mega House Variable Action Heroes One Piece Portkiss D Ace figure. So what is going on everybody? How is everyone doing today? Daredevil19 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the variable action heroes Portkiss D Ace. Now this piece is looking pretty darn awesome and I am digging this line so far by Mega House. Plus I love One Piece and this is the figure line to collect if you're a big One Piece fan. But anyway, let's get into the review and start off with the packaging for the Portkiss D Ace figure. So pretty basic packaging by Mega House's One Piece line. We get orange, yellow, and black for the main colors of the box because if you look throughout the entire packaging, it has like a fiery type look in the background because we all know that Ace ate the devil fruit that gave him the ability to wield fire. So pretty cool looking packaging. We do get the window right there. It says One Piece on the top, an image of Ace there. It says Port Gisti Ace on the bottom, Toy Animation and Mega House. The bottom of it is the blah 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 stuff. We do get an image of Ace there. It says Variable Action Heroes, Port Gisti Ace. The top of it says Variable Action Heroes. And then the side of it says the same thing as the front. We do get an image of Ace there on the bottom. And then the other side of it is the continuing image from the front of the box with a nice uh, cool design there. And then the back of the packaging shows a bunch of different poses you can get the figure into along with some of his accessories. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this figure open to take a closer look at Portkiss D Ace. Alrighty, so taking a closer detailed look at Ace here, and man, Mega House killed it with this piece. They did a phenomenal job with the paint and the sculpt. The sculpt of the hair looks dope, so nice work on that. The bottom piece right there is connected to the neck, but the rest of it is connected to the head, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the face sculpt looks good. The eyes are both painted, looking in the same direction. We do get his freckles there, and the paint is just nice and clean on the face sculpt. And they did capture the likeness of Ace perfectly on this figure, unlike the SH Figure Arts one where they really didn't capture the likeness of the character. So Mega House did a good job on that. Uh, nice sculpt work on the neck. We do get some paint shading on it. Uh, we do get his bead necklace, which is like a dark red color. It is a separate piece, but it is glued onto the chest right there, so you can't remove it or anything like that. But nice work on that. Uh, the skin tone color, everything is the same from the arms to the body and the legs, so nice work there. We do get some very nice paint shading all throughout the arms, around the torso there, even on the back as well. And then we do get his badass uh, white beard tattoo, which looks pretty awesome. The paint is very nice and clean on it, so great job with that. We do get his other tattoo on his left shoulder that says Ace, nice clean paint there. And then we do get his elbow pad in case he decides to be a wrestler. But uh, I'm really digging the sculpted wrinkles all throughout it. I think that looks dope. And I like how they did the elbow joint as well. So very nice work on that. Then we get these two uh, pieces on his wrist. We get this one right here that kind of reminds me of like a life raft. <laughs> it is a separate piece, so if you would like to remove it, you can. But nice uh, sculpt work, uh, paint on it. it. Seems to be nice and clean. Uh, we do get this one as well. It is a specific compass that you can only use on the Grand Line. I forgot what they're called, but it is a silver color with uh, light blue on the top, and it is connected to the wrist, so you can't remove that one. But a uh, nice job on those two little pieces right there. And then we do get his belt here, which is an orange color. Um, there is a little bit of paint shading right there. Well, it seems like there's a little bit on each part as well, so nice work on that. We get the belt buckle with some red in it, and then the A right there, and then a nice silver color in there as well. Then we do get some silver for the uh, rings right there, where you could uh, buckle up the belt. And then we do get the, uh, the belt rings uh, for the black right there on his shorts going around the belt as well. So nice job just on the belt there. And I like how this piece of the belt goes around. And then it loops over right there. I think that looks pretty cool. And you can see like the paint shading going in there. I mean, they did, they really did an awesome job with this piece. Now for his shorts, these look awesome. I love all the sculpted wrinkles all throughout it. I mean, that just looks freaking cool as hell. I mean, great job on that. And then the bottom of the shorts is a darker gray color. Looks pretty cool. 
And then we do get this pouch with the strap going around the left leg. It is a uh, nice blue color. We do get silver for the belt buckle, for the buckle right there, belt buckle. And then we do get uh, silver for the buttons as well. We get some very nice paint shading on the blue on the pouch right here. And it's like a glossy uh, type of paint, so that looks pretty cool. Nice clean paint work all throughout it, though. So nice job on that. We do get his legs right there with some nice paint shading going on there. I do have a couple black specks, but it's so minor, it really doesn't bother me at all. I have a little one right there, and then a tiny one on the back of the leg, but it's, like I said, it's so minor, it really doesn't bother me at all. And then we do get his cool looking boots here. They are all black, and just great sculpted wrinkles all throughout it. And then where the boots look like they fold over here, nice work on that as well. I mean, great sculpt work overall on this figure. And then we do get these like uh, silver straps going around each foot right there around the toes. Paint's nice and clean on it. And then we do get like these silver holes as well on the back of the uh, boots. So nice work on that. And then we get gray for the soles and some nice sculpt work on the bottom of them as well. So they did an amazing job with the detail for this ace. I think they knocked it out of the park with this one. But anyway, let's continue on. Moving on to the accessories, we get some awesome stuff included with Ace. We get some very nice fire effects. We get these two right here. And I love the uh, orange translucent plastic. I think it looks great. Come on, focus your bloody camera. I mean, great job on that. And I like how they made like the ends of it a more, like, uh, more darker orange, almost reddish type color. Same with around here. I mean, very nice paintwork on it. And I'm really digging the translucent plastic they used. And these go around his wrists. I mean, they wrap around his wrists, as you can see. So you just pop his uh, hand off and then pop these on. And then we get this one right here. Just as cool looking as the other one. And this one goes around. It could go more up his forearm because it's a little wider compared to that one. So pretty cool uh, uh, flame effects that we get. And then we also get these flame effects that go on his fingers. I mean, nice orange translucent plastic and great, like, uh, paint. Blending. I really like the way that looks. And they do go on his fingers that go like that. I'll show you that in a second. As you can see, you just do it like that. And there you go. That looks awesome. So we get those fire effects. And then we also get his sheathed up knife that you can't even remove. So that kind of annoys me that you can't rem remove the knife. But it is cool that they included it. I think the paint looks fantastic on it and nice sculpt work as well I mean that looks great we get some green brown and silver in there with some black as well I mean the handle just all that little sculpted uh, detail and paint detail we do have the peg insert as you can see right there and you just peg it on to the side of his pants like or shorts like so and it is on a ball joint so you can I guess articulate it around if you would like but it will hinder some of the uh, leg articulation there. So we get his sheathed up knife there. And then we also get eight interchangeable hands. We do get a pair of fists. Some nice sculpt work and paint on them. We do get some very nice paint shading as well. Very nice work on those. So we get a pair of fists. And then we do get a pair of open hands. Nice paint and sculpt as well. You can see his uh, sculpted fingernails, so that's pretty cool. I do have a little bit of, like, pain or something on that pinky, so that's kind of weird. But we get those, and then we get these two, like, uh, gun pose hands, where you're making a gun sign. And these are for, as I just showed you, for these flame effects right here. I mean, nice sculpt and paint on these, though, so nice work with that. And then we get a pair of pointing finger hands. Nice sculpt and paint as well. So we get those eight interchangeable hands, and then we also get three interchangeable faces, two different hair pieces, and his hat. So we get this face sculpt right here that we kind of took a look at before already. And his eyes are kind of looking up a little bit and straightforward, and he does have a smirking, smiling uh, type look on his face. But nice clean paint all throughout it. We do get some paint shading on the skin tone, and we do get his freckles, so nice work on that. And the way to interchange his face, you just pop the front hair piece off, and his face comes off with it. Take a new face, make sure you line up the pegs correctly, 
Peg it in like so, then peg the hairpiece back on, and then there you go, simple as that. And then the next one we get is another smirking, smiling face sculpt, but his eyes are looking off to the left. Get some nice paint shading on the skin tone, the paint's nice and clean all throughout it. And then we do get his freckles as well, so nice work on that one. And then the last one here is kind of like an angry yelling face sculpt, and his eyes are looking off to the right. We do get his freckles. Nice clean paint all throughout it and some very nice paint shading as well. So those are the three interchangeable faces. Then we get two separate hair pieces. We get this one here where, where he doesn't have his hat on. And then we get this one here where we can have him wear his hat. Let me put a face on this one. Put the other smirking face sculpt on it there. And the thing I noticed on the hat one seems like some of the black paint chipped right there. I mean, not that big of a deal. But uh, nice sculpt work on the bottom part of the hair besides that uh, chip of paint that is missing. But we do get his hat. Stand up there. And it is all orange. We get some very nice paint shading on it. Even on the, a little bit on the bottom too. So nice work on that. And then we do get like those red beads again going around the hat. So that looks pretty cool. Then we get those two uh, like smiley. The smiley face. The evil looking smiley face and the sad uh, face right there. But a uh, nice clean paint and nice sculpt on it. So great job on that. Then we get the uh, string or rope piece hanging right here. And then we get this little symbol. I don't know what that's for or what it means or anything. Uh, nice sculpt work. The paint is a little... Not that great. A little bit of paint bleeding. I see like the brown bleeding onto the white part. But I don't really see the white bleeding onto the brown. Mostly the brown leading on to the white part. Uh, then we do get this piece down here, and I like it because they put like a black wash in the red part. You could see it better down at the bottom there, so that looks really good. And the way you get the hat on, you see uh, two inserts right there, and then you see it on the top of his head. You just put it on like so. Make sure it goes in there. I just didn't have it in there. And then there we go, just got it. And then there you go, you have Ace with his hat, and that looks pretty badass. I don't even think I have it all the way on yet. But uh, cool that you have the option to have him with his hat or without his hat. But anyway, that is all the accessories included with Ace, which is some pretty cool stuff, and I'm very happy with what they included with the figure. But anyway, let's continue on. So now for the height of Ace, he stands about... 7 inches and a quarter of an inch tall, and then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Monkey D. Luffy figure and the SH Figure Arts Sanji figure, and then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Golden Frieza figure and the SH Figure Arts Broccoli figure. Yes, I know his name is Broly, and then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Android 16 figure and the variable action heroes Dracul Mihawk figure. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Goku figure and the SH Figure Arts Premium Color Super Saiyan Vegeta figure. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. Now for the articulation, and I gotta say, the biggest downside to this figure is the really loose joints. The Dracul Mihawk figure, his joints weren't as loose as the Ace figure, so I think that's the biggest downside to this piece. But uh, he does have two points at the neck, one at the upper neck, and one at the lower neck. The upper neck joint goes forward and back, does pivot, and it does swivel. The lower neck joint goes forward and back, slightly pivots, and it does swivel as well. So we get some pretty good movement at the neck joints there. We get three points of articulation around the torso area. So the one under the chest goes forward and back, slightly, slightly pivots, and it swivels a lot better there. The uh, ab crunch joint goes forward about that much and then back about that much. Do get a little bit of pivot and some nice swivel. Now for the waist joint, goes forward and back a little. It swivels very good there and we get some very nice pivot at that joint. Now the only thing, the ab crunch and the waist joint, they pop out way too easily so just be careful of that. Now for the shoulder, we get some very nice movement here. We get a butterfly joint that goes back and forth and then another one that does go up and down. And then we get a nice armpit joint in there as well. So great movement around the shoulder. And the shoulders go up about 90 degrees. They do go up and down. We get the bicep swivel there. Double jointed elbows that bend in all the way. So that's cool. We do get a swivel and a hinge at the wrist. So nice movement at the arm and the wrist joints. Now for the legs. They kick forward about 90 degrees. 
they go to the back decent amount and then they kick out to the side about 90 degrees now if you have the knife on there it will hinder some of the articulation but it won't on this leg because there's not a knife on that side uh, we do get swivel up there as well now uh, we do get swivel again at the thighs right under the shorts there and then we do get double jointed knees that bend back all the way so that is awesome we do get a swivel at the ankle it does hinge up a good amount and then down not so good we do get some okay pivot there and then we get some toe articulation and then it does rotate a little at the toe as well so we do get some beautiful movement with this piece but like i said the joints are extremely loose with this figure but other than that you get some very nice articulation with this ace but Overall, I highly recommend this figure to any One Piece fan if you love the variable Action Heroes line, or if Portgus D. Ace is one of your favorite characters, definitely pick this one up without a doubt. It is an incredible figure. They did an outstanding job with it, and it just looks so awesome when it's on display. The only issues I found with the figure is that some of the joints pop off a little too easy, but then most of the joints, when you articulate the figure, are way too loose. And then the last thing is that his knife, I wish you could take it out of the sheath, but you can't. It's just molded in there. But other than that, they really did a fantastic job with this piece. They executed the detail extremely well. The paint is nice and clean throughout the entire figure and the accessories, and you do get a bunch of dope accessories included with Ace. And lastly, you get some great articulation throughout the entire figure, so they really did an amazing job with this Portgus D Ace figure. And if you would like to get this for your collection, he does retail for about 70 80 bucks, depending on where you purchase it. He is being reissued this June, so I know a lot of stores do have him available for pre-order. And you can also check at agelessgeeks.com. But anyway, that is my review of the Variable Action Heroes Portgus D Ace figure. Hope you enjoyed my review. If you want to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, and favorite the video too. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, just give it a thumbs up anyway, because action figures are awesome. Awesome. But thanks for watching. I will see you later. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Mega House Variable Action Heroes One Piece Port D. <laughs> Shit. Daredevil 19 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Variable Boo Baba Doo Bidi Bidi House because I love One Piece. And if, 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 Stuff. We get a picture of Portgus the Ace right there, it says blah 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 booze. So it says the same thing as the front right there, and we do get an image of the figure as well on the Brabi. Image of Ace right there, it says Portgus Portgus. Blah, blah, blah. There's one piece on the top of image Ace. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> what the hell? The SH Figure Arts Android 16 figure, and then Vivido And the variable action heroes, blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> Mega House killed it with this piece. They did him an, and uh, uh, right here it is a separate piece. I guess you can remove it if you want to take the hand off and take it off. Damn it, said so take it off twice. Son of a bitch!